Hey guys and welcome back to another Marvelous Designer tutorial. Uh, this time we're going to do another beginner's tutorial and today we're going to show you how to model a tank top. Okay, here we go. Hey guys, well we're in Marvelous Designer 7.0 and this is our uh, second video in the beginner's uh, course if you will. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a very simple uh, t-shirt. Well actually not even a t-shirt, just a uh, the body of a shirt. So sleeveless, okay? So uh, let's get started with that. Well, we're going to use this avatar here. Uh, if you have a model that you created yourself, you can import that by going to File and uh, Import and then Import an OBJ or an FBX. But we're going to use the default avatar. And how you do that is go to File and Add, and you can choose Avatar. You can choose Male, Female, or Child, and there you go. Okay. So let's start with this guy. So this is, again, a very, very easy. It's a beginner's tutorial. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the polygonal tool right here, and we're gonna go in, and we're gonna start somewhere above the shoulders, and because of the model of this shirt, we're gonna start somewhere around here, keep this really small, and we're gonna go to uh, the middle here. We're gonna click on that. We're gonna hold down Shift, so it'll snap to the center. We're gonna click here, Hold on shift again, click here. We're gonna move up here, up here. And then from there, we're gonna move and close that up right there, which will give us that panel, okay? Now, typically on a shirt like this, you want this to be curved. So I'm gonna click on this guy to get rid of that. I'm gonna go to the second symbol right here, and I'm gonna click on this guy, and I'm gonna start to pull that in and kind of create that tank top effect. I think that's what it's called. Yep. Then you can go in and you can even bring these in a little bit if you like. But we'll see how that works out. Okay. So now that I have that, I'm going to hit enter, go into my selection mode right here. And obviously I want one on the other end as well. So I'm going to click on this guy and I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to symmetric pattern. So now I can go in and simply click right here. Now, these two are not connected just yet, and I'll show you if I hit simulate, it's just gonna fall to the floor, and that's not good, obviously. So let's first stitch this together. We're gonna go into the symbol next to our sewing machine, and I'm gonna click on this guy, and click on this guy. As I do that, you see that we've got these stitches going on. So now, if I hit play or simulate, it's gonna come together and fall down, okay? Let's jump back. Now, we need to have something similar in the back as well, of course. So I'm going to select this and shift select this. I'm going to hit control C to copy and control V to uh, paste. And we're going to go in and I'll just uh, move it over this end. That's fine. And click once. There we go. And then in my 3D view, I need to move it to the back and flip it over. So I'm going to click on this, take my gizmo, move it and move it. Let's have a look, looks uh, pretty good. However, I still need to flip it over. So I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go to flip horizontally. As we do that, now the outside is the clean side, if you will. And now we need to start to stitch this together. Now that is a bit tricky because it's really easy to get your lines crossed and we don't want that, okay? So let's start by going to our sewing button right here, this guy. And let's hover over this one. You can see that little uh, line there going either up or down. We're going to start here. We're going to click once and we're going to move to this one and click once again and let's see what we got. We got lines going straight, no lines crossed anywhere. That's good. We'll do the same here and that's good as well. And then the top there, we need to uh, stitch those. So let's go from this one to that one and hopefully I don't cross them over. And of course I do. Control Z to go back. From there to there, yeah, there we go, that's better. So these are all now ready to uh, get connected. So let's do a quick simulation. And there you go. Now, you can see that everything's a bit thin, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to tweak this a little bit, okay? So I'm gonna select this guy and a couple of things we're gonna do. First, we're gonna make this a bit, a bit wider. It looks uh, a little bit feminine I guess um, so we'll tweak that and also they look to be a bit short but we'll deal with that 
So what we're going to do is we're going to go to this guy and I'm going to click on these and basically bring them out a bit and click on these and do the same. We'll re-simulate slightly better. Click on these, bring them in, click on these, bring them in. And that's basically what you need to get a good understanding of. Okay, so, and if you see that something is not perfectly in place, you can just grab it and pull it like so. So that's looking a lot better. Now in the back, you don't want to have that opening. So what we're going to do there is we're going to go in and we're going to take those and we're going to move that way up to the top. Hit simulate again. That's looking much, much better. Okay. Now, what you can do next is you can go in and look at the opening at the armpits, if you will, if you want to bring that back, especially in the back here. So you could take these and use those controls to kind of bring that in a bit. And I'm certainly no clothing expert, so, but I think this looks uh, okay so far. Uh, let's say uh, you want to make it longer or shorter. You can just uh, grab this and pull it up or down. And you can also see if you want to tailor it a little bit. For example, right here, you got a straight line and here as well. Uh, what if we decide to do a curve instead? So we can click on this and we can hit delete. And then we can go into this guy, take the line and start to bring it in like so and you'll see that it's now a bit tight or too short if you will and it's not gonna you know connect anymore so we're gonna reset that because we took away those lines we need to reconnect and re-sew that makes sense okay so I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna take these as well get rid of those and then we're gonna take this one slightly curve that and then we're going to sew that back together. Okay, so we're going to take this one and that one. There we go. And let's hit simulate again. All right. Looks good. Um, really tailored. Uh, problem is now because of that, it's uh, way too short. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go in, click on that one right there. We're going to take this and we're going to bring that down. To about there and then take this and bring that down and don't have that jump out there we go hit simulate again and again you can grab that and pull that if you like okay pretty good uh, one more thing I want to fix which is this uh, part of the front here we're going to go in and take this again. We're going to take these lines, bring them down. Hit simulate. And then we're going to go in and take this one and take these. And kind of curve that open. Like so. And that's all there's to it, guys. Okay, like I said, very straightforward, very simple, very basic, but nevertheless, hopefully this will get you on your way to learn how Marvelous Designer works, okay? If you have any requests for future Marvelous Designer videos, very specific things, let me know. And that said, uh, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. If you wanna see more, please subscribe, okay? See you guys next time, bye. Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.